Hey everybody, so what you can see here on the screen is the goal for this video, is to get you to have a crossword puzzle uh, in Jamboard, and maybe with some pictures and other uh, items if you wish. So let's take a look at how you can do that. Do you that way. So what I did is uh, I really like crosswordlabs.com. Uh, it's a good place, an easy way to make crossword puzzles. I have uh, videos on my website or on my YouTube channel about how to use crossword labs. I'll post a link in the description if you need it. Uh, so once I'm done, here's my crossword puzzle. What I did was then I went to my Google Drive and I went to File, New, and I created a new Google Drawing. Uh, and then from there, let me show you what this looks like. <clears throat> so if you go File, New, Google Drawing, it comes up with a page like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is go File, Page Setup, and change it to the 16 by 9 because the Google Jamboard uh, automatically is more of like a widescreen thing. So we want to make sure what we have fits our screen. So I made it that size and just hit Apply. So this is what my screen looks like now. And then what I did is I went back over to my crossword puzzle and I took three separate screenshots. The first screenshot I took was just of the crossword puzzle itself like that. And then I did two more, one for each of one for the across and then I did one for the down. And after each time I did it, I'm doing this on a Chrome base, by the way, which is kind of like a big fancy Chromebook. When I copy that section on the bottom right of your screen, that little box pops up. I just click copy to clipboard and then I go back to my new drawing. And I just do copy paste, or I'm sorry, just paste, control V, and then move, and then it comes up like that. So I did that for those three things, the crossword and those. And then I arranged them so that they looked like this, one, two, and three. And then I put these images in here as well. To do the images, I just did um, insert image, and I just searched the web, and I found some pictures that were relevant to the crossword puzzle. And then when I was done, I go file, download, JPEG. And I'll tell you why I did that in just a second. Okay, then I went to uh, Google Jamboard. And if you aren't sure how to get there, you can just go to uh, jamboard.google.com and I'll go to, assuming you're logged in, I'll go to all of the different jams that you've created. And I'm gonna click down here on the bottom right and click a new jam. Okay, then what you're gonna wanna do is you want to change the background. So I'm gonna click set background and click this button right here that says image. I tried using my Google Drive right here, but I could not find the image that way. That's why I did the file download as the JPEG. Um, maybe it just needed some more time to refresh or something. So anyway, I downloaded the file to my uh, Chrome base. And I just click browse and it's the most recent file. It was this one, um, it was this one right here. For me, it was at the top, but I just took a screenshot to show you an example a second ago. That's why it's not there. Anyway, I clicked that, I clicked open. And then it came up like this. And then what I did, and then what you do after this kind of depends on how you want to deliver this to your students. Do you want all of them working on their own file or do you want them all working on the same jam, but their own uh, crossword puzzle? So what I did was I just, uh, where's my jam? Here it is. Uh, you'll notice here that I have 20 slides because that's the maximum amount of uh, jams you can have on, or slides you can have within a jam board. So if I had a class of 20, ideal, right? Uh, if I had a class of 20, I could share this jam out with them and they could each jump onto one and start put their name on there somewhere and start filling in the answers. And then you can just go through and check that they've all finished. So obviously, they could see each other's answers um, and they could also mess with each other's answers too. So it's not necessarily ideal if you think you'll have issues with that. So the other option you could have, obviously, is just to force copy this jam right here to the students. Um, if you weren't sure how to do that, click the share button change this to anyone with the link can view. And then what I'm gonna do is come back here and at the end where it says viewer, I just type in copy like that. And I send that to all of my students. They will all get this Jamboard with just the one crossword puzzle on it. And it's just their file. No one else can see it. And then they could turn that into you if you wanna do it that way. See, this is what happens when you send that to them. It, gives them this message, they click make a copy, and then it opens up a new copy um, that's just for them to see. So that kind of is a personal preference for how you want to do it. But I really like that with setting the background with the crossword puzzle that this stuff can't be moved around at all. And then when the students are working on it, one good way to tell that they're doing their own work is, you know, when they're putting in letters, it's pretty obvious uh, that letters are different if they're just handwriting them in like that. 
uh, if they could do text boxes, but maybe encourage them to do the handwritten ones like this. If they're having a hard time writing, they can totally zoom in and get closer to make it a little bit easier for them. So that's one way you can do crossword puzzles on a Google Jamboard with your class. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hasta luego.